Well, me being a retard knocked the camera tripod over with the car rotisserie pushing it and it destroyed the lens of the camera. So, it being after Christmas and me having just broken my bike as well, that is pretty much game over. Sorry guys. And of course, I can't leave it be. I'm trying to repair it. I've desoldered the broken ribbon cable. I'm trying to replace it. or well, the flex cable, trying to replace it with ribbon cable. I'm trying to glue those bits back on. I know full well it's not gonna work, but in my sick little mind, I have to waste my time doing this to fully submit to the depressive forces that are at work here. All right, so I've soldered all the wires on. Tried to glue those bosses back on, I know they're not right. There were some washer parts in there that were meant to stop it. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're not going back in there. I don't care. They're not going to fit because of the glue around the boss. <sighs> I try and put it back together and... Right, because I can't leave anything alone, I've actually come back to this camera and I've managed to get it to work. The body's working anyway. What had happened was the um, mechanical connection of this piece, of this switch paddle, wasn't turning the switch properly and that's all it was. And it's because of this damage the camera copped when it hit the ground. Um, also that rotary dial was stuck and I fixed all that up but now body works fine which is good. It's, um, yeah, obviously no lens on there so the next job is to is to fix the lens if I can. I already had a go at that. Replace this ribbon. You now this other ribbon here was torn, it went to these buttons. Which is a bit of a problem because I can't solder a ribbon that small. But what I've done is I traced the wires out and there's actually only three wires. Four of the pins on the connector are all grounds. Then the first wire is for the eye function button and the fourth wire is for autofocus manual focus so I can try and feed those through with some other wires I found that the two those two logic inputs are just come into these capacitors here so it's just a wire there a wire there and one for ground back up to the this board and then hope for the best if it doesn't work it doesn't work I'm really just happy to play so I've actually glued this back together with hot glue. It's a little tiny bit crooked, but still seems to work. Um, actually wired the switch wrong. I should have put that wire into the middle, so I'll fix that. But otherwise, it focuses. The eye function button works. When I hook that, when I short that wire out, it actually does turn it auto and manual focus, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Here we go. I've actually done it. I've glued this back together. I've got the buttons back in on the side and it's actually all working. I mean, I'm sure it's not 100%, but it's better than 0%. I mean, what the hell? We've got... Yeah, it's working. You can see it works fine. Let's see if I can get a shot of using the buttons. So we'll go... Buttons on the side, we'll go back to manual focus. Manual focus there, manual focus ring working. Little eye function button on the side here to go between the ring modes. Press the button and look at that, goes through all the modes. No shit, it works.